What's going on, y'all? It's your boy E, and we back with another episode of Pat Cracks with Stacks. I'm your boy Elo Stacks, back on my collecting shit, and I got another video for y'all, man. This time we got about 30 vintage baseball packs from 1988 to 1991. I got these packs at my local card store for a dollar each. A dollar. A dollar, bro. And in these packs, we're looking for things like Ken Griffey rookies, Barry Bonds's, John Smoltz's, McGuire's, you know, Randy Johnson's. Some of these things are worth hundreds, thousands of dollars. And I got each of these packs for about a thousand. So we about to run through these and um see if we could get some bank, man, you know. First thing I want y'all to do, though, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell if you like these pack opening videos. Because um, I'm trying to, you know, trying to expand the channel, man. You know, just it's free. It's free. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share it. It don't cost you nothing, but it helps your boy out a lot, man. So I would really, really, really appreciate it if you could do that for me. And um, without further ado... Let's get cracking. Welcome back. Part two of the vintage pack crack with stacks. We did 89 and 88 Don Russes and we did the 88 and 89 tops. We got some great pulls from those top sets. We got a Jeff uh John Smoltz rookie. We got a um we got Daryl Strawberry All-Star cards and base sets. And we got the the Grail. The one that not the one that I wanted. We didn't get the Griffey, but I did get the Gary Sheffield, which is worth about a hundred, two hundred dollars. PSA 10 graded. So let's hope. So let's move on to part two. And we got 1990s Fleer and we got 91 scores. I got about 10 packs of each of these. I definitely got 10 packs of the Fleers and the scores. I got about seven packs. So let's do this. So this is part two video because the first one was about half hour. So, you know, I didn't want to keep you guys too long. So I'm going to break it down into two videos. So we did the tops. Now we're doing the Fleers. All right, let's go. The tops are usually worth more money, but, you know, you have a couple decent, um, decent flair cars that are worth something especially the the rookies mark dyer paul Ossenmacher, doyle alexander ed whitson what's this kevin moss george canali don't know either of them mike davis chad cruder brian smith flash gordon okay we got a Flash Gordon sighting going on here. One of the best closers from the 80s, early 90s. As you can see, uh, I think this is his second or third year. 88 Royals, but he only played in five games. He had 49 games in 89, so I think this is a third-year car. I'm going to pull it, put it off to the side, though. It might be worth something. Andy Bennis, Dale Mohoric, Wally Joyner. Wally Joyner is pretty decent, so we'll put Wally Joyner off to the side. Jimmy Key. I remember Jimmy Key from when he played for the Yankees. I don't really think it's worth anything, though. I don't think he made the Hall of Fame. He was just a decent pitcher. Gene Nelson and Jeff Parrott. Okay. So we got the Wally Joyner and the Flash Gordon. Not really big names, but, you know, a couple dollars here and there never hurt anybody, right? Let's see what we got here. We got Mike Benjamin, Greg Jeffries, Randy Mulligan, Mike Felder, Terry Leach, Barry Lyons, Deion Jan Oh, I, I thought that was Deion Sanders. I was about to get hype real quick. Tim Leary. We got a checklist. Greg Litton, Wes Gardner, Les Lancaster, Greg Brock, Dan Petrie, and Rick Aguilera. So nothing in those packs. Two packs open. Nothing real crazy. We're looking for the Griffies. We're looking for the Bonses. We're looking for those Braves pitchers. You know, 
anything like that. The Meguiars. You guys know. Uh, looks like we got a collectible sticker here. Or a collectible uh, Astros card with, with the Astro Dome. That's pretty dope. We got Bill Duran, Walt Weiss, David Justice. All right, David Justice. This isn't bad. Is this a rookie? David Justice played 16 games in 89. I think this is a David Justice rookie, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is a David Justice rookie. Looks pretty good on the corners there. These packs are in decent shape. I'm going back tomorrow. I'm going to go buy a bunch more. I spent about $30, and I already got two, $300 worth of cards in here. Maybe more. That's nice. Dave Justice. We'll keep that to the side. Dave Justice rookie. Shout out to Dave Justice because he was fucking Halle Berry. That's that's quite the accomplishment. I'm 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 about to I'm about to just keep that card just because of that. That guy's a fucking legend. Mike Blowers. <laughs> that's, that's your mom's favorite player right there. <laughs> that's what I call her. Mike Blowers. Oh, Sammy Sosa rookie card. I believe this is the rookie. If I'm not mistaken, White Sox, he played 33 games. Oh, no, maybe not. He played with the Rangers. 25. Actually, you know what? Because I think with rookie cards, I think they classify. You need a certain amount of games a season in order to be classified as a rookie or not. He only played 25 games in, the, in 88. Or 89, he played 33 with the White Sox. Oh, so he was traded. He played 25 with the Rangers, 33 with the White Sox. I believe this is the Sammy Sosa rookie card right here. Look at the jerry curl on my man, Sammy. He would be in the Hall of Fame if it wasn't for all those PEDs. You know, rumors and all of that. But it looks pretty fresh. Okay, so I got a Sosa rookie and I got a David Justice rookie. Oh, this... Okay, these flare sets. They had a bunch of flares, too. I, like I said, I think I'm going to go back and I'm just going to buy everything. Because I'm picking some heat out of here, boy. Cecil Espy. Andres Thomas. Robin Ventura. I believe this is a rookie card, too. If I'm not mistaken. Birmingham. White Sox. 16 games. Yep, Robin Ventura. Rookie card right here. Most people know Robin Ventura from either the White Sox or from the Mets. This is a decent card. So I think I got three rookies out of this last two packs. Okay. Shout out to Fleer. Let's get this money, guys. Frank DePino. Jose DeJesus. Kevin Elster. Mark Thurman. Tim McIntosh. Mike Winners and Randy Myers. Okay, all right, all right. I think this is the fifth pack for the Fleers. Let's go. We picked a couple, a couple good rookies out of here too. So I like that. I got the Oakland Athletics team card. Chet Lemon. Once again, I don't know who Chet Lemon is, but I saw his cards are worth a little something. So I'm gonna put it over to the side. Gary Templeton was a pretty decent player. I don't know if he's worth anything, but... So we'll just put it down here for now. Who's this? Steve Frey and Mike Huff. I heard of Mike Huff. I don't think he's anybody, though. John Wetland, ex-Yankee closer. Is this a rookie? It looks like it might be a rookie. Nah, he had... He had 31 games for the Dodgers for a pit. I think for pitchers and batters is different because 31 games for a pitcher is actually a lot. He is a reliever, so I'm not sure this is a rookie, but John Wetland is one of the best closers of all time. He got his spot taken by Mariano Rivera though, when he came over to the Yankees. I'll put that off to the side. Jamie Moyer, the ageless wonder. I think Jamie Moyer played like 137 seasons in the majors. He pitched till he was like 46, which is ridiculous. 90, 90s Moyer card is decent, though. Huey Brooks, Bob Boone. I think this is um Aaron Boone. Um, I think this is his dad. Pat Clements. Steve Sachs, okay. Steve Sachs was pretty decent back in the day. Guess he was in the league since 81. Not sure it's worth anything, but I'll put it. Oh, I dropped the camera, but I'll put it off to the side for now. 
we'll, we'll keep it up there. Let's see what happens. All right. Fix the camera. Now let's keep going. Brian Meyer. Burt Blylevin. I've heard of Burt Blylevin. Not sure it's worth anything, but I'll put it to the side because I heard of him. George Bell was pretty decent. Doesn't look like it's a rookie, though, unfortunately. Uh, looks like his rookie year might have been 83, 84. He did have 104 ribbies in 89, though, 18 home runs. Pretty decent. Look at that afro. Kurt Young, Roger McDowell again, Mauro Gozo. Okay, all right. So some decent pulls out of these flare decks. Mostly that Sammy Sosa and that, that David Justice, though. Those are the ones. I think we got about five or six Fleers left, and then we'll get into the scores. I'm still looking for a King Griffey. Just because, obviously, his cards are worth more money than God right now. Uh, Cardinals. All right, so we got Mike Morgan. Craig Worthington. Ken Caminetti. Ken Caminetti was decent. I think there were some PED um, rumors about Ken Caminetti, too. I'll put him off to the side. Dave Stewart was a pretty good pitcher. Lance Johnson. Lee Gutterman. Darren Dalton was good. Played for the Phillies. I think he played a bunch of years for the Phillies, too. We'll put Darren Dalton off to the side. Charlie Ho. Geronimo Baroa, league's best shortstop, Tony Fernandez and Cal Ripken Jr. Look at that. Look at that. Crispy edges, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. League best shortstop. Superstar, too. Number 634. Hmm, I'm going to look this up. Anything Cal Ripken is always worth money. Maybe it's not $100, but it might be $20, 30 40 you know? Who knows? Oh, boy. I'm getting some good picks out of these Fleersy. I'm definitely going back to the store tomorrow. I'm, I'm picking up everything they got in the box. Because for a dollar, man, you can't go wrong. Ted Power. We got Jesse Orozco. Bobby Ojeda. Joe Drizzluk and Tony Fosas. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Cal Ripken, Sammy Sosa, Dave Justice. Those are the highlights of these flare ones right now. I'm stacking up on, uh, on packs, I'll tell you that. We got a nice little uh, National League stickers. Padres, Giants, Cardinals. Mike Gallego. Ron Jones, Alex Sanchez, Junior Ortiz, Brian Harper. Uh, looks like these are upside down. Eric Plunk, Cecilio Guante, Gerald Young, Daryl Evans, Pete Ancavilla, Delano DeShields, and Jason Grimsley. Not really worth anything. Todd Zeal was decent. If it's not a rookie, it's probably not worth shit, though. Mm, he played 22 game, 29 games in 89. Okay, maybe. Might be worth something if it's a rookie. We got Mike Benjamin, Greg Jeffries, and Randy Milligan. All right, we got about four packs left of the players. Try to run through these so I can go online and look up some, uh, some of these worths. Oh, we got an American League one. Yankees, Twins, A's, uh, Brewers. Decent. Bill Kruger, Mike McFarlane, Dave Magadan, Brooke Jacoby, Rolando Rooms, the dynamic duo, Will Clark and Kevin Mitchell. It's a superstar card. Will Clark was pretty decent. I'm not sure it's worth anything, but I'll put it off to the side. Anytime you get like those like in those inserts, you might as well just want to keep them off to the side and look them up. If it's not, it's going back in the box. Uh, Scott Terry. Oh, I'll skip one. Scott Bales. David Cone. Coney. Mets legend. Yankees also. 
Uh, looks like it's his third or fourth year card. Decent, though. I'm going to keep Cone off to the side because that might be worth a little bit of change. Jeff Ballard, Tommy Green, Deion Sanders. And I believe this is a rookie card, too. If I'm not mistaken, the Deion Sanders rookie was going for about $30, $40, maybe $50. It looks like he played, uh, what's that, 14 games in 89? Pretty nice sharp corners here. No dings. No dings. I got the glossy finish. No scratches or anything. Deion Sanders, rookie. Here we go. All right. Terry Moholland. It's a blast from the past. Julio Franco. Derek Lindquist. All right. We're racking up on these flares and these tops, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to have a good day today. That Gary Sheffield by far. Gary Sheffield and the John Smoltz are the best pulls. AL, Baltimore, uh, Boston, Reds, Astros. Kirby Puckett. Okay, Kirby Puckett's a Hall of Famer. Anytime you can uh, get a Kirby Puckett card, you want to save that to the side. Worth a couple dollars. Carmelo Martinez, Steve Balboni, Rick Roden. Jim Abbott, once again, Jim Abbott. And I believe this might be a rookie card, 29 game for a pitcher. Eh, maybe not. But we'll put it off to the side for now. Dave Steeb. What's this? Stu Tate and Greg Smith. Never heard of either of them. Mickey Hatcher. Rich Leach. Tim Burke. Brett Sagerhagen. Kirk McCaskill, Tim Lauder, Kevin Blankenship, and Mike Henneman. All right, two more. Two more flare packs. We already got our money's worth out of these. But there's always more. I, oh, I, I think I saw something good, too. Larry Walker. Is this Larry Walker's rookie? 20 games in 89. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a Larry Walker rookie. Once again, nice corners. Mm. Larry Walker's a Hall of Famer too. So, yeah, that's definitely worth something. Let's keep that. Let's keep that to the side. Wow, I'm getting a lot of rookies in these, man. David Valet, Ernest Riles. Let's focus the camera a little bit more for you guys. Paul Gibson, Kurt Gibson. Everybody knows Kurt Gibson from when he hit the home run in the playoffs and hobbled around the other bases. I'm going to keep the Kurt Gibson off to the side. Might be worth something. Maybe not, but who knows. Jim Traber, Craig Biggio, rookie card. Oh, no, no, no. The 89, I'm a year off. The 89 was, was the rookie card. As you can see, he played 100 and, what, 134 games in 89. Yeah, oh, I was off one year on this. I would have loved to pack a Craig Biggio rookie. Biggio was the man. Him and Bagwell ran Houston for a long time. I'm still putting it off to the side, though. It could still be worth some money. Dave Henderson. Ron Gant. Ron Gant was pretty decent. Andy Hawkins. Pat Combs. Jeff Kunkel, Joe Boever, Superstar. Who's this? Howard Johnson and Ryan Sandberg. Oh, buddy. Ryan Sandberg. Howard Johnson was decent, too, but it's all about Ryan, uh, Ryan Sandberg for me, personally. Ryan Sandberg, a Cub great. Hall of Famer, once again. Tony Pena, too. Tony Pena is a great uh, coach for the Yankees. I think I might have his rookie card. I th I got like a 70. No, maybe, yeah, I, I got like an 80 Tony Pena. I'll keep it to the side. I don't think it's going to be worth anything. But just because he's a Yankee and just because I know who Tony Pena is, I'll look him up, check it and see if it's worth anything. All right, this is the last Tops pack. Once again, we already made our money, though, so everything from here is icing on the cake.
Lee Smith. Lee Smith was pretty decent for the Cubs and for the Red Sox. I'll put that to the side. Don Powell, Jeff Reed, Wallace Johnson, Jeff Leonard, Jose Uribe, Kent Merkser, Eddie Murray. Okay, Eddie Murray. Hall of Famer. Everybody knows Eddie Murray, the hit king. This is his Dodger card, but most, most of us are going to know Eddie Murray from his days with the Orioles. Put that off to the side. Might be worth something. Larry Sheets, Bill Doran, Walt Weiss, another David Justice rookie. Oh, and Mike Blower is your mom's favorite. Another David Justice rookie. Once again, corners are pristine on this. 16 games last year, so it's definitely him. Halle Berry's hubby. My God, I got two of these. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is nice. Another Mike Blowers. Oh, oh my God, we got another Sosa. Oh, it's lit. It's lit, baby. Another Sosa. We got two Sosa rookies and two Justice rookies. Wow. Wow, these flare packs are dope. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. And then you got Cecil Epsi. Wow, those flare packs were freaking awesome. All right. And now to end the video, we're doing 1991 scores. I'm not sure how much the scorecards are worth, to be honest with you. It looks like these are Series 1s, though, I guess. You know, these are the first ones that came out of the year, and then they did, like, a, a, a little update. The score football ones are worth some, some money. I'm not really sure about the baseball ones, but let's look through it and see. We got, focus the camera, Mike Scott, Lee Gutman, Robbie Thompson, John Franco, put him off to the side, Eric Plunk, Bo Jackson. Look at that. Look at the bow. Bow nose, baby. I don't think this is his rookie. I think either 89 or 90 was the rookie. But Bo Jackson is such a famous name, football or basketball card. Whenever you get a Bo Jackson, you better keep it. Pretty crispy corners, too. Oh, yeah. It looks lit. Ramon Martinez, too. K-Man. That's decent. Julio Franco. Scott Terry, Joey Cora, another John Wetland. Put that off to the side for now. RJ Reynolds. Oh, what's this? World Series trivia? Hmm, it's pretty cool. Mickey Stacks, the card. Lenny Harris, Charlie Hugh, Deion James. Randy Velarde. I was wishing I said Randy Johnson, to be honest with you. All right. These score ones are pretty good, too. So let's see. Willie Blair, Chris Bazio, Lance Parrish, Don Juan Matting Lee. I see a little white around the top and on the corner right there. Down bottom, too. It's not a PSA 10. But anytime you can get an early Mattingly card, no, it's not really early. He he was an early 80s guy, but it is still Donnie Baseball. Should still be worth a couple of dollars. I'll hold that one off to the side. Once again, Jamie Moyer, the legend, just because he pitched till he's 97. He probably died on the fucking mound. Junior Noboa, Nolan Ryan Highlight. Oh, look at this. Nolan Ryan highlight 300 career victories. I'm not sure that record is going to get broken. Guys don't really pitch into the sixth inning anymore, you know? Like, guys like Nolan Ryan were, you know, and look, the centering is pretty per. Oh, I got a ding on the bottom, though. That's not going to get a PSA 10 with the ding. Maybe I could kind of bend it back, you know? Maybe PSA won't, won't see that. Shh, don't tell nobody. Nolan Ryan, though. We'll keep that to the side, definitely. Eric Davis, Master Blaster from the Reds. Eric Davis was pretty good. Not sure it's worth much, but we'll put it off to the side. You never know. 
Also, if you guys see any cars that I miss, like any anything with, with, with some with like with like an error or something like that, put that shit down in the comments, man. Help me out. I got a lot of cards I'm going through here, man. I can't keep track of all of them. Kurt Young, Jeff King, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sammy Sosa. And it might be a rookie too, huh? 90. No, it looks like he played too many games in 90. He played what? I mean, we already got his rookie. Uh, he played 153 games. So this is his second year card. Look at that old school hat, too. Jesus. Yo, look. And Sammy Sosa was black, man. Remember when Sammy Sosa was black? That's crazy. Look, look at Sammy Sosa right now, man. He's a different fucking person, yo. He he looked like do um he looked like Michael Jackson now. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna keep that off to the side though. E Edgar Martinez, okay. Edgar Martinez. Everybody knows Edgar Martinez. Look at the porn stash on Edgar Martinez. Wow. Go ahead, Edgar. This isn't a rookie card, but Edgar Martinez is a Hall of Famer. So anytime you can get. You can get a card of guys like this. You got to keep it off to the side. You never know. Another little trivia, hollow, or whatever those things are called. Dave West, Mickey Hatcher, Dave Schmidt, and Steve Balboni. Okay. Decent, decent, decent pulls. Decent pulls. We're still looking for the big names, though, man. We're still looking for the Griffies and the Bonzes and and, and and the Maguires. You know, I haven't I haven't pulled one in any of these, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is, man. With these cards, you're not ne you're never guaranteed to get pulls. Ellis Burks was decent. Dicky Thon, <laughs> this is your mom's favorite player right here. <laughs> we call her Dicky Thon. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> man? Uh... Yo, your mom got a lot of favorite players, man. She got Dickie Fon, Don Bodicker. She got Mike Blowers. Your mom loves baseball cards. Mike Felder, Dave Winfield. Okay, Dave Winfield is always decent. Ken Caminiti, Rifleman. I'll keep the Ken Caminiti. Bobby Witt, K-Man. Nope, that's not really worth anything. Cecil Fielder, All-Star. With with the cartoon on it, that's not bad. Rondell White rookie card, that's not bad either. Rondell White was decent. I don't know if this is worth anything, but like I said, anytime you you get the rookies, just keep the rookies, man. Lenny Dykstra. Lenny has fallen on some hard times with drugs and alcohol nowadays, but Lenny Dykstra was the man back in the day, though. He used to kill the Mets, and I used to love it, too. As a Yankee fan, I used to love Lenny Dykstra because he used to bust the Mets ass. Ted Powers, Mickey Tettleton, Dan Plesak, another one of these World Series things. Scott Sanderson, Scott Bradley, Kevin Romine, and Roberto Kelly. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Decent, decent, decent pulls here. Decent pulls here. I still can't believe we got that. Uh, we got two David Justice rookies, the John Smoltz rookie, two Sosas, the uh, Gary Sheffield rookie tops. Those pulls made my day, man. Oh, I see a good one off rip. Ryan Sandberg. Oh, yeah. It's definitely worth a couple of dollars. Terry Bokins, John Cruck, Crucky, Crucky, what y'all know about Crucky, man? People that uh, went, when I, I used to play baseball back in the day, they used to call me John Cruck because I, I was big and fat. I played first base and I played outfield and like, you know, like I was real slow and shit, but I used to hit bombs. So they used to call me Crucky. <laughs> Crucky might be worth something. Randy Milligan, Jose Offerman, rookie was decent. I'll keep that off to the side. Jeff Manto, Tony Fernandez, Eric Plunk, Eric Yelding, Paul O'Neill. This isn't a rookie, though. It's before he came to the Yankees, but I'll keep Paulie on the side. Neil Heaton, Scott Terry, Eric Davis. Uh, Don Paul, 
Pedro Guerrero and Allen Anderson. Okay. We got three packs left in the video, guys. Can we pull out another miracle out of these packs? Let's see. Let's see. Damn, I, I got a bunch. Look at all this. Look at all these freaking packs, too. Jesus. That's crazy. All right. Randy Milligan. Carlos Baerga. All right. Carlos Baerga was decent back in the day. And this is this a rookie? Nah, he played 108 games in 89. No, in 90. This isn't a rookie, but I'll keep it off to the side. You never know. Wayne Edwards, Milt Thompson, Jim Poole rookie, another Jose Offerman rookie, Jeff Manto, Tony Fernandez, John Gleaton, Mark McGuire. Okay. Big Mac. Big Mac attack is back, Jack. And look, it's card number 324, which is my birthday, March 24th. So hopefully this card is worth something. I, I like this, though. He's not in the Hall of Fame either just because of the uh, steroid stuff. But, you know, everybody knows Mark McGuire is one of the best baseball players ever. I don't go fuck about the steroids. They should let guys fucking do steroids anyway. Paul O'Neill once again. He in... Bruce Hurst, Dave Stewart, Mike Henneman, Paul Ossenmacher. All right. Two more. Two more packs before we get out of here for the day. Let's see what we got here. Greg Olson, Jeffrey Leonard, Scott Fletcher, Dave Rigetti. Okay. I remember Dave, Dave Rigetti. He's, he's a Yankee. I'll put him off to the side. We got a Mike Mussina rookie card. I like that. Big Moose. Big Moose. He was great on the Orioles. Wasn't that great on the Yankees. He was decent. I didn't like, you know, how he treated the media and all of that shit. He was kind of a dickhead. But it is a rookie card, so I'm going to keep that off to the side. Bill Hasselman, never heard of him. Paul Abbott, never heard of him. Jim Poole, never heard of him. Nelson Liriano, Kent Herbeck, Franklin Stubbs, Brian Harper. We got like seven Paul Ossenmachers and all of this. I guess he was a popular player back then. Just a popular bum, you know? Lenny Harris, Charlie Ho. We got a lot of him and we got a lot of Deion Jameses. All right, last pack. Last pack of the day. Let's see if we can pull some magic, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, if you're looking, if you're watching this video, if you're enjoying the blast from the past, I'm opening, you know, 80s and 90s vintage packs, man, that I bought from the card store for a dollar. Hit that like button, man. It's down here somewhere, all right? Hit that like button. The subscribe button is over here somewhere. Hit that shit, too. Hit the notification bell, because I'm going to be dropping more heat, man. Like I said, the next video I'm dropping is this top 2021 series. If you want to see what's in here, refractors and some rookie cards and stuff, hit that notification bell, man. That video is coming soon. But anyway, without further ado, the last pack of the day. Can we get some more heat? Can we get some more heat? All right. Another Carlos Baerga. Keep that to the side. Wayne Edwards. Milt Thompson, Mike Scott, another Bo Jackson Rifleman. And I got the Ramon Martinez before, too, but the Bo Jackson I'm keeping. Julio Franco, Adam Hidsdu, Joey Cora, another John Wetland, R.J. Reynolds, Steve Crawford, another one of these World Series bullshits, Phil Stevenson, Lloyd Mosby, Mike Davis, and Felix Furman. Well, all right, guys. There you go, man. We got some pretty, pretty, pretty good pulls out, out of these packs. I think the best one out of all of them was this Gary Sheffield rookie, though. This is from the previous video. I'm sorry I'm bringing it back. Um, Out of part two of the video, probably uh the... I would say the the Dave um Dave Justice and the Sammy Sosas. And we got two of these in these packs too. These were probably the best ones. And they're both in pretty decent mint condition, man. These are worth at least $50 each. 
So we definitely made our money back. I would definitely tell you guys to go to your local card store. Look to see if they have, um, you know, these boxes with these old vintage sets. They're usually super duper cheap. And you could pick them up for pretty much nothing. Like I told you, I got these cards for... I got these cards for literally a dollar, you know? 